I think. That was fun. I just had some technical difficulties. The corner of my screen says I've been live streaming for uh, 257 hours. I know that's not true. Let's see. You guys hear me? You can see me? Hopefully this connection's not horrible. I'm back in the normal spot off the side of a freaking highway trying to get service, but let's see. Hold on one more second here. I'll get my computer set up down here so I can read y'all's comments all proper. And if I don't see your comments today, it's not because I'm a jerk. It's not because I don't care about you. I just, I didn't see your comment, so I'm sorry in advance. That simple. I had a comment maybe a couple of days ago and some guy was like, I waved at him and he didn't wave back. That guy's an ass. I'm like, I, didn't, I probably didn't see you, man. Like, come on. I'm not gonna not wave if I see you waving at me. It'd be weird. All right. So you guys, uh, does it look all glitchy? Can you hear me? Someone say something. I hope it's all right. Um, hold on. I gotta take one sip of my coffee before we start. Oh yeah. All right, clear as day. All right, I can hear it. All right, we're on. We are on, everybody. So, for those of you guys that do not know, I am back in Alaska now. We made it. Uh, probably some of you guys kept up with that 10-day uh, video marathon series, which is actually 14 days of video straight, but I didn't say that. Um, yeah, that was fun. It was a crazy trip. Uh, I spent an absolute fortune on that trip. I spent every dime I earned off YouTube to do that road trip, and it was worth every penny. Um, I'd totally do it again. And I'm going to do it again, actually. So, for those of you guys that tune in early, you get the special treat of seeing where we are. So, hold on one second. Oh, my sister made me this mug. Check that out. It's pretty fun. Oh, no. It's kind of cheesy, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. Let's see. I'm going to take you guys off and show you where we're at really quick. So, hold on one sec. Flip this around. There we go. There's the old vlogging setup right there. And we are currently on the side of the highway. Ugh. Of course there's a guy right outside. I don't want to be weird. I'll just show you out here. Uh, we're right in the side of the Seward Highway. Uh, you can see the icebergs rolling by right now. So we'll probably go out there and check them out in a second here. It's pretty sweet. So this is turning an arm out here. Uh, it's the ocean. It's not a river. So this is the tidal current pushing all these icebergs in. Pretty neat. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, we'll go out there in a minute. We got a, a guy hanging out right over there. Right there. So I don't want to weird him out all this live stream stuff so we'll go out there in a minute i don't know what it is i freaking hate talking to myself on a camera in front of other people so i'll literally hide in here until he leaves and then i'll go out there just weird feels weird you know i don't know how those youtubers do it in the vloggers where they like walk around in huge crowds talking to themselves or like walk up to interview someone put the camera right in their face before they even meet the person it's just i don't know i think it's weird but maybe I should just get over myself and get better at it or something. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? CT Mad Mods in the house. What up, Clint? I see you down there. I'm scrolling down comments. Uh, Clint and I are going to go get the Samurais out soon. I'm pretty sure. If he can get a day off of that, that job of his. I mean, I'm going to take time off too, I guess, but... Anyway, I'm going to catch up really quick. So yeah, for those of you guys that just joined, I'm back in Alaska. We're in the side of the Seward Highway. Um, I actually live right down the street, but I've got crap cell phone service in my house. So I have to come out to the highway to give you slightly better service, which is still crap. But uh, that's, that's why I'm here. So, And we are going to do a cabin tour. My house is a, it's like a 16 by 20 cabin I built with my dad uh, this not this past summer, back in 2018. I've had it a while. Um, it's cool. It's a nice home base. So I'll show you guys that before too long. Anyhow, hey, there goes the guy, I think. 
we'll go outside now. Um, yeah, anyway, we're back home. Um, I've got a whole bunch of epic adventures planned for you guys this winter. Um, I just got back on one of them just a couple days ago. And uh, the video is coming up starting tomorrow. I've got another four days of videos in a row starting tomorrow. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I think that's right. Um, we're going to be going somewhere to one of my favorite places in the state. And uh, some crap goes down. So you guys will see those videos this next week. And then I have some cool ones after that. So that's coming. And uh, yesterday was nuts. A, a moose fell into a river, like a baby moose. And uh, it was stuck. It had been there for probably two days because the tracks were all snowed over. And the mom just left it. And uh, we were with some snow machiners yesterday and actually rescued the moose. It was nuts. We like dug out this huge swath of ice and snow around it. And uh, just poked it with a stick until it scared itself out of the out of the river. It would have died in there. But it's going to be a pretty crazy video too. Anyhow, let's, uh, I'm, before I start looking at the comments, I'm going to take you outside and show you where we're at really quick. Now that the guy's gone, call me weird, but I don't like filming with people. All right. Oop. Oh, yeah. All right, here we are. Oh, what's that? Is that a new uh, Lynx snow machine? Oh, that's pretty neat. Um, I'm selling the Polaris over here, so using that money to buy this guy. That's what's going on. It is a beautiful morning out. Sorry, pretty dizzy. So I live uh, right down there in a cabin. There's the setup. You guys have probably seen the truck bed trailer, sir. That's what I did with the truck bed when I made the uh, flat bed for the camper. So anyhow, enough of the trucks. Check this view out. Pretty rad. So like I said, this is turning an arm out here. These are all just icebergs floating around. This is the ocean. This is not a river. And uh, yeah, it's moving that fast. Pretty cool. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna get back in and start start talking to you guys. Just blabbering on. Whoa! All right, flip you around. Flip you around. Okay. So that's the situation, and uh, one of the, my reasons for the live stream today is answering y'all's questions, which I'm about to start doing, I'm sorry, and also getting ideas for video content this winter. If you guys have any ideas of things you want to see, or fun stuff you'd like to see me do, or things you want to know about in Alaska, um, yeah, just drop a comment on here. I'll try to write it down if I see it. If I don't see it, just say it, type it a couple times so I see it. So Let's start getting some questions from you guys. Here we go. Play some catch up. All right, how much for the Polaris? Uh, if you guys get on, if you want the Polaris, it's on Facebook Marketplace. Um, Polaris put a brand new engine in it. Uh, the engine died, as you guys saw, it blew up in 2020, and they put a brand new 2021 engine in there. It's had all the fixes. Um, I'm just switching it up, changing things up. So that's that's what's up. So it's on Marketplace if you want it. It's a pretty good deal too. It's one of the best deals on there. So. Uh, running down the questions. So yeah, Polaris is for sale. Hawaii was freaking epic, Bob. Um, if you guys haven't been to Hawaii, I'd highly recommend. That's uh, Hawaii is like where all the Alaskans go for vacation. It's just like kind of the closest warm place you can go, and the tickets are pretty cheap. So we went to Kauai and it was pretty epic. I have a little baby video of that. Nothing crazy, but yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bucky, I did not get the rubber band yet. I'm sorry. Admin Clinton Great House has a rubber band for me. So, Vlad Impeller asked how much the Lynx was. Whew, it wasn't cheap, bro. I paid a, a little bit over retail for it, so that'll be your hint. So you can go look up retail. Um, sleds are just, they were hard to come by, and uh, now the market's starting to get flooded with them all of a sudden because people are getting their snow check sleds in. So that's what's up with that. Alrighty. RC Overland Dave's dropping video ideas. Wildlife in Alaska. Uh, yeah, man, it's coming. Um, I'm going to take you guys hunting on a future episode pretty soon here. And uh, like I was saying, we just actually saved a moose yesterday in a river, so that was crazy. So you guys will see that in a couple weeks here. 
And for those that wonder, uh, yeah, like right after I finish my adventure, the video, the videos don't just magically come out on YouTube. It takes me a lot of editing and all that stuff. So my videos are usually within two weeks from now on. So anything you see, you'll be about within two weeks of when it happens. So there you have it. So it's about as updated as you can be on this thing. And some YouTubers, if you go to like Expedition Overland, some of those guys, uh, or Overland X, those guys will release videos like six months after they did it so I feel like I'm doing all right with it okay I run down here uh, Bogio asked if my friend put the bike together uh, yeah so I brought uh, an electric fat tire e-bike up to Alaska for a buddy when I was driving up you guys can see that in the videos it's like that super wet nasty box in the back of the trailer uh, which is totally wrapped inside with plastic so it's all waterproof inside but uh, yeah, he put it together, works awesome. Uh, you can't get lithium ion batteries shipped to Alaska really easy, they're really big ones. So that's why I brought it up for him. Uh, let's see, Robert H wants some baseball in Alaska videos. I don't know if that's gonna happen, bro. We don't even have a baseball team up here, I don't think. I don't know, do we have one, Clint? You on here still? I feel like we had one for a while, but we never had pro baseball up here. All right. Patrick Ayers asked if uh, the Shoot Dangs have any shows coming up. Uh, Shoot Dangs is uh, our band, if you guys don't know that. Uh, and yeah, we do have some shows. We're playing out at Tailgate, Alaska on March 26th. So out in Thompson Pass, we're playing in the middle of nowhere. That's going to be a really fun show. And then the super fun show is we're playing uh, at the Alaskan Hotel and Bar. We're going to headline on Saturday night, April 9th uh, at the Alaskan Folk Fest in Juneau, which is an absolute riot if you haven't been to that. It's like a full on Muppet show for three days. It's pretty fun. So, and then we're gonna play some shows this summer, but anyhow, yeah, there's still some music happening. Uh, Dylan Osborne, what, uh, yes, what is my brand of wood stove pipe cap? Um, you're probably talking about the wind directional chimney cap. That thing is, uh, it's made by a guy in Seattle He's on eBay. It's called a wind directional chimney cap. And uh, yeah, you can look it up. It's a three inch diameter and uh, they're hard to find. He's the only dude I've seen that makes them, so. There we go. Adam Lockhart's asking, what kind of miles per gallon did I average on the trip? Um, I'd say like an honest 11 and a half miles a gallon. Like 11.5 is what it always got. It's a pretty much 12 or pretty much 11. Um, I don't even know how much I spent in diesel. I probably spent 7,000 bucks in diesel, but like I was saying, it was worth every penny. So it's all good. And I'm probably going to do it again this next fall, more than likely. So I've got like a really huge project this summer I'm going to be working on. And uh, once that's completed, then I'll take off on another road trip for you guys. Probably not six months this time, but. That is, uh, let's see. Uh, Paul's asking, I seen you had a pair of mucklucks. How you liking those? Uh, they're freaking awesome, man. I got my Crocs on now, but uh, they're called Steger, uh, a company in Minnesota. Uh, they make some mucklucks that are, I don't know, it's my favorite winter shoe. They're pretty rad. Uh, gotcha Girl is asking if uh, Suzuki's running. It is. Uh, I took the Samurai for a trial run into uh, work into town the other day, which is I don't know, about 80, 90 miles round trip, and she did great. I still don't have signals and all these other problems, but uh, it's running, so we're going to be taking you out soon in that thing. Let's see. Let me roll down these. Justin Dixon says he just started a channel. Never lost Overland. Got a full-size bourbon. Nice, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, the best thing you can do, man, is just... Just keep making videos even if you feel like they're not good and you don't feel like they're good just put it out anyway because probably other people will think they're better than you do because you are always the worst critic of yourself at least i am i feel so um it's my best advice man just start cranking them out and you'll kind of find your way find your way along the path uh leah's asking what i do for wi-fi on the road i just hot spot off my cell phone which you guys are watching this through my, uh, I've got like a Samsung S10 Galaxy phone. So you guys are watching me through that right now. Uh, that's it though, I only get like 40 gigs of hotspot. So uh, to upload videos, I have to go to like libraries and stuff like that. So 
kind of sucks, but we'll look into that in the future. Yo, thank you, Sean. Appreciate that shout out, bro. Is that a trophy? What, what's that guy? It's like a fox with a trophy. That's funny. I'll put some diesel in for you, man. Let's see. All right, the Ramblin' Georgian ask, uh, enjoyed the road trip videos. Who took care of your birds while you're gone? Um, I had a uh, whitewater kike and buddy. Uh, there are a couple doctors that live up in Hillside and they have like pretty much a mansion. And the birds had like the best time ever while I was gone. They get to fly around this huge house. And uh, these doctors used to have a parrot. So they have this huge tree in their house. It's like a 15 foot tree. So my birds are like living in the tree. Or the parakeets are living in those trees. So they had a pretty good time. see RC Overland Dave says he's filming in an iPhone yeah they work man um, if you don't have a camera set up just film in an iPhone you know that's how it works yo Kevin Siller thanks for the shout out bro I appreciate it yeah and, uh, I don't know I'm never gonna ask you guys for money but if you guys throw any I'm putting it all towards diesel and all that kind of stuff to keep it rolling so just saying which gives you guys more videos in the end Yo, Chris, appreciate that, man. Said he made the same trip. Had absolute zero reception with Verizon. Oh, uh, what do you use for your reception for Canada? I've got AT&T, man. Um, there's this weird battle in Alaska with AT&T and Verizon. And uh, Verizon works really awesome out in the middle of nowhere in Alaska, like McCarthy, Thompson Pass. Uh, but then when you get in town, it kind of sucks half the time. So I've got AT&T and... Uh, yeah, I had service, uh, not the whole time actually, but the the bottom of Canada I had service and then the top again. And then when I get into the really big cities, but yeah, I didn't have service for like, let's say two days of the drive in the middle of Canada. So, Probably same problem as you, which is a little bit nerve wracking because there's like not many people on that highway. And if you break down, it's like, I don't know. I guess I could have driven the samurai off and gone for help. Sitting here. Johnny says his wife and I enjoy the videos with coffee every morning. Right, right on, man. That's why I do it. Or I hope you guys are enjoying them. Um, and like I was saying, you, uh, even if I didn't do this YouTube thing, this is like I've been doing all this way before YouTube, so I'm not doing anything different. And uh, that's why I thought it'd be a good idea to do this whole YouTube thing. Like the whole idea is, uh, you want to try to not make it work. You want to kind of find your passions and try to capture those passions and then you're just doing what you want to do anyway so keeps you from burning out I've seen a lot of youtubers get burned out over time and uh, I don't know I've got a friend that has a YouTube channel and uh, her YouTube channel is designed to like help you become more successful at YouTube and she gets tired of it you know because every video she's making is like how to be more successful at YouTube it's just not that fun to her anymore so you get to think about those kind of things if you start a channel. Remember, make it about your passion or it's going to turn into a job. Let's see here. Uh, Kalia is asking what I think of newer van conversions. I don't know, man. There's a... Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't put it on my car, but my buddy's got a car that says... Uh, uh, his car has a bumper sticker that says one less sprinter on there it's a one less sprinter van so i don't know i personally i don't like vans too much um they're super efficient they're nice they're solid but they just have no freaking soul to them i don't know what it is just this big tall ugly white van and everyone's got one so i don't know and they're freaking crazy expensive like i don't know what happened but the van conversions are out of control now like i got a buddy that has a hundred and forty thousand dollar van most of those things are at least sixty to eighty thousand dollars. A lot of the conversions, just the conversion itself, to turn it into a house inside is sixty grand with this van. So I think it's kind of crazy. And in the end, you get to like, you get to think about what you're actually doing. You're like, you're freaking going camping. Like you don't, I don't know. It's crazy. But yeah, I uh, respect vans in the van life, but uh, I would never own a van myself. I don't know. Too expensive, too soulless, and too expensive. 
Um, Chago's Outdoors, what's up, man? Uh, he's asked what my email is. Uh, I'll type it in here just so you can see it. Uh, email is truckhouselife at gmail.com. Oh, wait, I can't comment. Um, actually, sorry, I'm not going to type down here because I remember last time I typed it, shut the whole live stream down. So we're not going to do that. But truckhouselife at gmail.com. Um, I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can in there. Get a whole bunch of emails. So there you have it. CT Mad Mods back in the house. Says I'm the same. I couldn't own a van conversion. Yeah, man. I don't know what it is. I just, they're too sterile. Especially the white ones. Gotta, like, at least get a different color. Come on now. Look like a freaking plumber driving around. Actually, if I did the van life, I'd get a, a Chevy Astra van. We used to have those. Those are sweet. And I, I had this idea, like, you just throw a ladder on top and permanently leave the ladder on. And it looks like you're always working. So, that's what I'd do. A little short ladder, like a six-footer, maybe. Step ladder. Mikhail said them G20s don't ever die. Yeah, I mean, the old Chevys are pretty sweet, too. The bigger, bigger old stepside vans, so those are all right. Anyhow, uh, Taha Ali asked if I've ever thought about starting a business to convert people's trucks into uh, campers, truck houses. Um, I actually did. I went out and got a business license. Um, I can't remember what I called it. I think like cold foot campers or something like that. Um, I've got a guy that wants me to build him one and he wants to pick it up like next winter but I've got a huge project this summer so I don't know if we'll be able to finish it for him or not so I'm deciding whether I want to start that or not and uh, it takes a ton of time to build this I spent a uh, I don't know let's say a month and a half two months and just working like 14 hour days every day like gave up all my weekends just slaving away in this thing and uh, if I'm gonna work that hard at something I'd almost rather just like put that effort into YouTube and go make a whole bunch of sweet videos doing crazy stuff and uh, do just as well with that money wise. So instead of spending all that time just building the camper and never seeing it again. See, so, yeah, I don't know what to do about it, but I've had several people that want a truck house built for them. So we will see, maybe I'll get into it eventually. The other thing too is uh, just the taxes. Like if I build a camper, like I'm gonna lose 25% to the government instantly. So that kind of sucks. So, it takes some incentive out of it. Yo, Vicious Triplets, appreciate that shout out, man. Here's one gallon of diesel in Canada. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, diesel was nuts there, dude. I think uh, I was driving through Canada and, uh, God, what was the name of the town? Not McLaren, I can't remember it. Um, it was right in the middle of BC and it was freaking $8 a gallon. Like, just totally crazy. So. And uh, I was gonna do this whole road trip that you guys just saw, I was gonna do that last year, but uh, COVID shut me down. I wasn't able to do it, they turned me around at the border. But uh, the gas then, the diesel was only like 275 a gallon. It's back when, I don't know if Trump was still in office or not, but the fuel is definitely cheaper then. So uh, the fuel is more than double what I thought it was gonna be this whole road trip. It's kind of crazy. Uh, Greg Beck asks how much the truck house weighs. It is 1,900 pounds empty, 2,200 pounds with everything in it. So all said and done, uh, I don't know. I think it's pretty average slash light, really, for a big truck. Um, if I had an overhead cab, it'd probably be, I'd want to say 2,500 pounds, maybe 26, because the spray foam insulation is actually pretty heavy. So this truck holds it easy, though. I did have to put beefed up springs on it, so here is that. All right, for those of you guys that just joined, I'll take you outside really quick. I'm going to pause them questions for a second, show you where we're at, do a little update. Here's the blogging set up right there. Oh, let me get my Crocs on. It is a beautiful morning. I'm outside of Girdwood turning an arm right now. Oh, yeah. Pretty balmy out this morning. It's like yeah, 25 degrees. New sled up there. Polaris is I'm selling that one uh, in a couple days and paying the links off with it. So there's your setup. You guys might not have seen the truck bed trailer, but I don't know if it, I've got that in some episodes. But 
That's what I did with the truck bed. Yo, thanks, Myerstone Ranch. Appreciate it, man. 7-3 for life. <laughs> Pretty cool, though. So, if you're just tuning in, this is Turnigan Arm. This is not a river. This is the ocean. You can see the icebergs floating by all slow. I'll hold the phone really steady so you can actually see how fast it's moving. Anyway, and this tide gets crazy. You can come out here and surf this thing on a surfboard or a paddleboard or a boogie board or kayak in the summer. Uh, Girdwood, the biggest ski town in Alaska is right down there. You can see the, the lift maybe way up there in the distance. The ski resort's on that mountain right there. So I haven't skied in a couple years because my knee figure all out. Anyway, we'll give you guys a tour of the links before it's too long, but I can't show you at all just yet. That's where we're at. Sorry, you guys are probably busy. All busy like. All right. Oh, thank you for the coffee mug, sis. It's pretty chill. I poured uh, poured my coffee in this other mug I had and I burned the crap out of my tongue this morning. It's pretty awesome. So I had to put it in this other mug. Let me see how I get this adjusted here. There we go. All right, sorry I'm back. Uh, let me catch up on some comments here. All right, part-time outdoorsman says that's awesome. How many miles in the truck? Um, she's got two hundred and thirteen thousand. This freaking road trip I put a uh, road trip you guys just saw the last four months. I think I put like right at fifteen thousand miles on it. So it's a whole bunch of driving whole bunch no oil changes freaking kill you in these trucks uh a diesel takes about a uh, 14 quarts of oil whereas normal trucks like five quarts you know four quarts and uh it's insane like every time you go do an oil change it's like 200 dollars in this freaking truck it's kind of ridiculous so but it's worth it i don't know robert b is asking how's the knee um it's not too good, man. I had my uh, MRI this last Monday, and I went in for results on Thursday, and they can't find anything wrong. So I'm, I don't want to say I'm screwed, but they just said like, yep, just go back to PT. So I don't know. I think when I broke my back kayaking, um, there's some nerve that's out in my knee. It's, there's something connected that's messing me up. So I didn't ski a single time last year. So I'm gonna start hitting the gym and doing PT and just seeing if I can get it working. A little better but it's pretty obnoxious man it's pretty frustrating so i feel like my lungs are fine i can go hike up a mountain right now but my knee will crap out within the first mile so kind of puts me down uh, sorry running down these comments you guys are dropping them like crazy coops off roads asking if i figured out the tail lights i sure did sir get a little video on that pretty shortly here Yo, Chris Chamberlain, thank you, man. Appreciate the shout out. He's asking where to buy a truck house life hat. Also likes the links. Uh, yeah, it's a sick sled, man. I took that thing out yesterday. It is insane. So I gotta say that. I'll, I'll show you guys the links before too long here in a little video. But uh, uh, the hats, man, shoot me an email, uh, truckhouselife at gmail.com. Um, I think I've got six hats left, maybe, maybe five. Um, See, so yeah, shoot me an email and I'll shoot you the details. Stuff like that. Scooters Adventures. How old am I? What's that? How old am I? Um, what did I hit? I just hit the big 4-0 this last uh, November, so it's crazy. The big 40 years old. I feel like I don't look like it, but I feel like it. It's kind of weird. I tell you what, I paid for it dearly in high school. I was a uh, five foot three and 110 pounds when I was a senior um, and I had like this weird growth stunt and uh, I remember uh, my mom talking about trying to get some endocrine shots just try to like get my hormones going to shoot up I was like oddly small Gary Coleman style and my dad's like no you can't have those shots just let them naturally age get bigger anyway yeah I used to get like put in the trash can upside down by the football players and all that stuff it was great I loved high school 
picked up by my neck, punched in the back of the head. Anyway, who's the loser now? Forty equals old. Thanks, Garrett. <laughs> How old are you, Garrett? Damn it. Yeah, that's all right. Age is a number, and then you're dead. So that's all. That's all I got to say about that. It would be pretty sweet to at least have my my back and my knee back again, though. If you guys want to see something gnarly, go back to uh, I think my my sixth video after my first truck house life video, and uh, you'll see the thing where I broke my back. It's like first time kayaking after I broke my back or something like that. But it's got footage of the accident, which is causing all this degradation right now. Anyway, uh, Arian's asking if I'm planning on buying a new F-150. Uh, I am not, dude. I'm going to keep this this F-350 right here. We're going to keep it keep it at that. New trucks are insane. I don't, like, I don't know. People spend like seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 on a new truck. And uh, I don't know. I think I paid like around 14000 for this truck with 140,000 miles, 130. And... Uh, I don't know. I can put like, I can literally put three engines and three transmissions in this truck and still be less than a new truck. So, and I like this truck. So, that's that. Hunter Nixon, temperatures 25 degrees, man. It's actually pretty warm. Pretty balmy. You guys have probably seen where I'm at. I'm like parked over here on the side of the Seward Highway. I'm going to show you out the window. And we're at. The iceberg right there floating by that's where we're at girdwood's like right around the corner it's pretty obnoxious i don't have really good cell service at my uh little cabin down the road so i have to come out here on the highway and get a little better service just still not too great anyhow uh camp in the back so it'll be 70 in a few months you can truck camp forever if you want yeah, that's a fact as long as that body's still working and yeah, my dad just turned uh 70 he's pretty much 75 now he's still kicking pretty hard i mean it is physical but a lot of it's mental i don't know we've got a friend uh and their grandmother is pretty young and she just acts really old in her mind so which makes you old. If you're gonna act old, then you're gonna be old. So, uh, if Keith Aaron's asking if I'm bringing the Sammy down, uh, probably not, bro. I'm gonna leave that thing up here. We'll see. I might actually sell the Samurai after the summer, and when I come back up, tow another vehicle up with me. So I'll just kind of see, I'm gonna play it by ear and see how that thing does the summer. See how I like it. Um, it's pretty terrifying to drive in the snow. For some reason, I thought I was going to uh, turn it into like a daily driver, and it's just, uh, the thing is gnarly going down the highway, and the ice rut's just kicking around everywhere, so I'm going to kill myself in it, probably. But uh, I am going to be rallying it really shortly here, man, so. But maybe I'll see you descend on Ben, Keith. We will see. If I get my big project done in time, um, I'm going to try to make it down to Burning Man and descend on Ben and all that stuff again, so. Be about that time of year. Then meet up with a uh, Phil from Down to Mob and his new lady. Um, meet up with Brian, Off Grid Backcountry Adventures. All that stuff. Let's see here. Phil and Brian should start the streaming platform. <laughs> yep. Oh, the YouTube fascist. We're not going to get into those. No politics, man. Watch out. Yeah, you guys might have noticed that too. I get like. People post like Trump 2020 or Biden 2020 or whatever on my site and I'll just like ignore it. I just, that politics stuff drives me nuts. Oh no. I wish we could just get like a normal person in presidency or just normal people in office. It'd be great. Like if people like to bash all the different presidents. Like they're all outrageous. Every single one of them. Doesn't matter who. They're not real people. I mean, they kind of are, but not, I don't know. They're not the run of the mill folk. Uh, sorry, I'm looking down at the comments down here. I only get like two comments on my screen up here, so. If I miss your comments, I'm sorry. I'm not deliberately ignoring you, I promise. 
Timmy for president, no thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm freaking good. I'm going to stay out here in the woods. It's a lot easier that way. Uh, Backcountry Boondockers was a little busy during the RV show, but slow. Oh, yeah, you guys just had a... Wasn't the Quartzsite, Arizona? It's like the largest RV gathering, uh, I think, in the United States. I think that just happened over the weekend or something. can't remember. Gregory Martinez asked, uh, I mentioned I saw Bigfoot in Alaska. Can you expand on that? Maybe in another one, man. Maybe I'll just do a, a Bigfoot episode or something. It was a weird one, though. I swear to God that was not a bear, though. I, it was like broad daylight, 100 feet away from me, standing up, running across the river. The river is like maybe six inches deep. And we're like dragging rafts and getting stuck. And I saw it for probably a 10 solid seconds, so... I don't know what it was, unless it was a dude in a Bigfoot suit messing with people out in the middle of Denali Wilderness, but I don't think it was. Let's see. Cody's asking how old the camper is. Um, let's see. I finished it in, God, I want to say December 17th of 2019. Is that right? Or 2020? I can't even remember now. It's about two years old. I ride it two years. And uh, I just finished filming uh, yesterday. I've got a, a video. It's like a two-year update on the camper. Uh, what's changed and uh, this what I would change if I were to build everything again. I think it's a pretty interesting video, actually. So that's coming out in like a week and a half. A little less than that. So you guys will see that. Almost done editing it now. So yes, sir. Let's see. Did I get a pick? I did not. You guys are starting that. See, here we go down this Bigfoot train again. <laughs> you guys are getting into it. Getting all Bigfooty on me. Oh, I just heard a car pull up. A little cool here outside. Anyway. Got any Kenai Peninsula plans, asked Fred. Um, I've got two of them. Can't tell you yet, though. They involve snow machines. and Going weird places that probably not a lot of folks have been to so we're gonna see if that plan works out i have to do some research and see if it's even legal to take a snow machine there first so so there is that part maybe a fan pulled up andre says i know i get terrified every time i actually met a couple last night it was nuts i pulled into a i think get some food in the grocery store parking lot i'm just gonna go run in and right as I pulled up, this car pulled up like right beside me and someone jumped out, this lady, and she's like, hey, my name's uh, Sarah, and I just moved up here, and we moved up here because of you, and this is my husband, and it's pretty nuts. It, it, I don't know, it's just, it's kind of crazy, just, uh, it's kind of cool, like the people you inspire and influence, really, and it's, I think it's rad, because I get inspired by people that I watch too, and uh, makes me want to go out and do stuff, so I totally get it. I totally get it. Uh, Scott Evans asked if I have a build series videos. Um, I don't, man. I've got one video. I'm trying to think of what it's called. I think it's called like how I built my dream camper or something like that. It's probably a year old or so. But uh, that has pictures of the build and a really annoying song. That way no one wants to watch it. So did that on purpose. But yeah, I didn't want to give too many details. I didn't want to have like too many exact replicas of this thing. So like people to kind of get out there and kind of figure it out themselves and put their own tweak on it. Even though some exact replicas have totally been produced, which is all good. Let's see here. Palm Springs, that sounds warm. Actually warm. Uh, a lot of people move into Alaska these days, ask Leah. Uh, I'm not too sure. I feel like the population actually, I think they did census, was it 2020? A couple years ago? And the population had actually decreased in Alaska. We actually lost some people. Um, I don't know why, but it was fine with that. See, it doesn't feel like exponentially bigger. But uh, Wasilla has grown, like uh, where Sarah Palin's from and all that stuff. Like, that's kind of blown up up there a little bit more. There's a lot more just super generic, lower 48 shopping centers and I don't know. Kentucky Fried Chicken kind of stuff. So, you're seeing a little bit more of that. 
<laughs> Yo, Nicholas, appreciate that shout out, dude. Denmark. Nice. Um, I just got a snow machine from Finland. I don't know where that is in relation to Denmark, but it's a couple, couple hop skip aways over from where you're at. Probably a stone's through. Appreciate that though, man. Oil jobs. Uh, sorry, looking. I'm looking. I've got all your comments down here, so that's why I'm staring down all the time, or else I can't communicate with you guys. A tag asker if, ask uh, if I'd ever change from a four wheel camper or a Bison Overland camper if I'd change to it. Uh, probably not, man. I don't know. Just knowing the main thing is like I built this, so I know exactly how to fix anything on it, and I can go to any Home Depot or Lowe's in the country and fix about anything on this. So that's nice. Whereas if I get a Bison Overland camper or a four wheel camper and like some aluminum weld breaks, like I can't do, you know, I don't have an aluminum welder with me or the skills to do it, so. And I like how insulated this thing is. This camper is like, I guarantee you it's more insulated than Bison campers and uh, and the four-wheel campers, so. I like, I built this thing for the cold, so. I'm gonna stay in this, and it's cheaper. There's also that. Running down these. You guys are still pushing that Bigfoot thing. I see it in there. Every now and then, a little Bigfoot comment will pop up. It's down in there. How many of you guys have seen Bigfoot while we're at it? Wish you could do like a wave in the comments or something. Um, Teg's asking about the weight. Uh, yeah, the weights. I don't know. It's really not that heavy. Um, it's 1,900 pounds empty. With all my stuff, it's 2,200 pounds. So uh, you can't really count that. So if, I think four-wheel campers are like... Like a big one for this thing is right around 1,500 pounds. So this thing's only 400 pounds heavier and uh, this truck can't feel it. I mean, we get enough power. The old 7.3 pulls it just fine. So um, the only thing it'd be nice to have a collapsible camper for is just wheeling, you know, or like fitting under trees and stuff. But I don't know. Alaska, it's, I don't know. There's, there's not a ton of places you can really wheel this thing, to be honest. Uh, the trails are really four-wheeler-ish and just super deep, crazy mud and um, you just can't get too crazy up here with it. So, but yeah, going to Moab and stuff like that, it'd be nice to collapse it and get your center of gravity a little bit lower. But no matter what camper you have in your truck, you just, you can't rally with a camper on. You just, you'll tear it apart. So you just have to take a chill anyway. So anyway, Rory's asking if the Samurai is all sorted. Um, it's getting there, dude. I've got a, the major things on it are fixed. Um, I still have no functioning gauges whatsoever, so I have no idea uh, what my speed is, how many miles I've driven, no fuel gauge, so I have no way to keep up with how much fuel is in it. So, and I have no signals, so it's kind of tricky to drive in town. But uh, she's getting sorted. You guys will see that shortly here. Yeah, Harlan McLean, my slide in is over 3,000. Yeah, see, campers are heavy, or the big ones. Let's see, I pay $9 a gallon for milk in Bush, Alaska. Ouch. Sorry about that, Patrick. Yeah, it's crazy. I think I've got like, if you guys go back maybe six or seven months, you'll see a video I did. Uh, just like the most expensive grocery store in North America or USA or something like that. And it was nuts. Yeah, like milk was like $13 a gallon. This is pretty crazy. Garrett says, I want to move to Alaska. Needs money. Or no, if you want to move, you better have money. Yeah, it's true. It's not cheap. A drive will get you. Custodian of Earth said, you inspired me to start filming more for my channel. Nice, man. That's cool. Or lady, sorry. Could be either one. Or any gender. I, I can't say that anymore, I guess. Forgot. This is the 21st century coffee mugs fall apart. Um, yeah, that's cool, man. Um, yeah, just keep filming. Like I told uh, someone else mentioned uh, that they had a YouTube channel earlier. And I told them my best advice is uh, even if you don't think it's ready or think it's good enough, you just keep putting your content out there because someone's going to like it. And uh, you are your worst critic. So keep that in mind. So don't be scared to just put your stuff out there and show it to the world. See what happens. 
Mikhail Richards asked if I ever thought about getting some tracks for the truck house. Um, I actually contacted, uh, I think they're called Matt Tracks. Yeah, I don't know if it's a Canadian company or where they're from. But uh, I was going to put tracks or see what it costs to put tracks or see if they wanted to sponsor a video. And the tracks are insane for this thing. They're like $70,000. So uh, that's not going to happen. They were going to give me a discount, though. They were like, yeah, we'll give you half off and do some PR. But like, yeah. I don't have 30 G's to put tracks on, but if I could, I totally would just, just for show, just to see what happens. Go out to like Alpine Creek Lodge with it or something. Oh, man. Chris Chamberlain gave me a shout out. Take this and buy a real travel mug. <laughs> Thanks, man. Maybe I will actually. I think I will actually do that. Let me write that down. That's what you want the money to go to, and that's what I'll use it for. Let's see. Buy coffee mug for Chris Chamberlain to use myself. <laughs> All right. I wrote it down, man. I know. I'm always... Uh, my sister sent me this coffee mug. It's kind of ridiculous. But yeah, I'm always like sloshing coffee and spilling it. I don't know. I'll try to find a better mug. Journing says, tracks on the Sammy. Uh, yeah, I've thought about that. The Samurai tracks are actually a lot more reasonable. So we'll see. It's not totally out of the question to get tracks in the Samurai. But then again, a snow machine is just so much faster. So there's also that. But that would be pretty sweet. Where can we send you a new teapot? <laughs> hey, man, I like my teapot. I get the... Uh, well, it doesn't have a handle. You guys will see my teapot. It's right over here. Check it out. I'll show you guys where we're at while we're here. This is my teapot. Only downside of the teapot is this handle burns the crap out of you every time. So I could just wrap something around that if I wanted to. But oh, did I show you guys where we're at? I can't remember. This is a turning an arm. We're just chilling off the side of the highway. It's the ocean right there and icebergs going by. Pretty nice out. It's a gorgeous day. We're gonna go get up to some trouble after a little bit. Got the sleds all loaded up, ready to rally. Ready to rally. We're out riding yesterday and some crazy stuff happened. So you guys will see that pretty shortly. I'm gonna get into that just yet though. All right, I'll probably, uh, I think I have like five-ish more minutes in this live stream and then I've got a jet. So, and you guys need to go get on with your day. Wasting your time talking to me. It's kind of weird. Kind of funny sitting here and like, I can read your comments, but I can't hear you guys. But it's just weird. I like, I feel like I'm hanging out with you, but I'm not. It's, it's like a really weird feeling to live stream. You guys should try it sometime. Josh from Uganda. Nice, man way out there i've got a friend that uh raft guides in zimbabwe but he's been trying to get me to go over there for years maybe one day maybe one day we will go oh yeah let me adjust this really quick here charlene hey timmy new subscriber and love your content just wanted to say warm wishes from north carolina been binge watching oh man watch don't watch too much take a break space it out you burn yourself out. Yeah, it's uh, that was a lot of videos in that road trip. And that was my whole intent of the road trip. I knew if I just took off and drove and did all this stuff for three or four months straight, I'd have a ton of content come out of it. And sure enough, I did. Had a bunch of crap go down too, but that makes for even better content, I guess. Apparently, even though it's uh, I'm not enjoying it too much at the time. Uh, let's see. I feel like I just saw a weird question down here. There we go. Uh, Cody asked if I've ever been scared while living in the truck camper. Um, I've had a couple weird situations. I had one just freaking tweaker running around like screaming one night. I think I was uh, in Tacoma, Washington. He's just circling around like, come out of there. I know you're sleeping in there. And I was like, Jesus Christ, I'm going to have to like kill this guy. And I didn't have my shotgun like I've got my wall usually. So I had like a three foot tire iron in here and some bear spray. So that was kind of awkward, but other than that, I've been too scared in here. 
Oh, no. Yo, Patrick Earns, appreciate it, man. Get some Kaladi coffee. Nice. I will, actually. That sounds delicious. I'm actually about out of coffee here. You go there, too? I mean, Kaladi's is, I don't know. I think Kaladi is some of the best coffee I've ever had. By far. Matthew says, congratulations on 90K. Thank you, man. I know it's crazy. The channel's been, like, kind of actually growing recently, so... I guess once you hit 100,000 subscribers, they give you like a little YouTube plaque or something. Maybe that makes you official. That's funny. Maybe we'll like blow that up with a flamethrower or something for fun. It's weird. I always kind of thought trophies are weird. For whatever reason. It's a weird thing to put on your wall. It's like, I did this good. Let's see. All right, I'll take a couple more questions, y'all, and then I've got a jet. You've got a day ahead of me here. Tim said he had someone try to break into his camper while he's sleeping. Snap. That's crazy. Sorry about that. Yeah, I don't know what you do. It's got, I'll tell you one thing. Right here. This makes me feel good right here. Watch this. That thing right there. Lights in the way, but that makes all the difference. Sleeping with a gun. Peace of mind. Instant peace of mind. All right. Fred asked if I can say hi to Ty. <laughs> yeah, man. I'll see him before too long. Ty actually just hit me up the other day. He's like, hey, let's go surfing, man. I got my plane ready. So I need to hit him up and bother him. I don't know what he's up to anymore. I haven't seen him in a long time. All right. I think I'm going to jet y'all. I've, I've just got a lot of stuff to do. And uh, my cell phone is literally about to die, the battery on it. So before I lose you. Anyway. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I have another mini video series coming up starting tomorrow. So, uh, if you tune in tomorrow morning, I think 8 a.m. Alaska time, uh, 9 p.m. or 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific Center time, um, I'm going to take you out to one of my favorite places in Alaska and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four days in a row, I'm going to showcase that adventure. So you guys should tune into that. Some crap goes down. It's pretty funny. But, uh, anyway, thank you guys for uh, joining the live stream. That was rad. And uh, we're back in Alaska, so the ventures are about to get a little bit western here. So we'll see you guys again soon. And uh, it's all going to say peace, everybody. Thank you guys for watching.